So you want to make a face, but you don't know how. Not a problem. First, create a new vertex group out of these points so that the keys that you're about to create only affect the face. Okay, now, basically we're gonna make a bunch of shape keys. But before you start wasting your time making a bunch of keys for every possible mouth movement, here's a little linguistic secret I picked up while I was in college. Most natural languages have five vowels. So things like Spanish, Japanese, Italian, and Portuguese, and a lot of other Latin-based languages have the vowels a, e, U, E, and O. English is actually one of those weird ones that has like 11 vowels. That is why those of you with Japanese friends probably notice that when you say words like neat, nit, net, nat, and not, they usually can't hear the differences between these words. And that's because these vowels don't exist in their language. But here's the trick. Every sound a human can make is gonna land somewhere between these five main ones. The A sound in hat is really just a sound between head and hot, which means if you just make five shape keys for the main vowels, you can create all the other vowels by by mixing them together. Also, as far as consonants go, in English there's only two types of consonants that involve the lips. The double lip and lip to teeth. P, B, and M all share the same lip position. F and V also share the same position and are made by putting the bottom of your lip to the top teeth. And all the other consonants like T, H, T, D, S, K, G, R, and N, they're all created with your tongue and your teeth, not your lips. So basically what I'm trying to say is five shape keys take care of all the vowels. One double lip shape key takes care of P, B, and M and one more shape key takes care of F and V. And a few tongue keys behind the teeth, below the teeth, back of the mouth, flat, and behind the lower teeth will take care of all the other consonants you need for speaking English and most other languages. And that's basically it. Some extra keys I recommend adding include things like smiling, frowning, smirking, screaming, and growling. Once you have those, you can combine them all together with the others to make all the usual expressions. And those are also the mouth shapes that you commonly see in things like Soul Calibur, Smash, and most games in general. If it looks a little weird, don't worry. It'll look fine once we add the eyebrows and the proper eye shapes later. And at the end of everything, we're gonna put all the combinations together in pose libraries. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.